Loon. I'm Chris. And I'm Wesley. The South of the Border Loon. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> south of the Border Loon. Let's explain that. Yes. So, folks, we've been doing some Cinco de Mayo favorites, and today Our is... Our favorite holiday. I know. It's my, <laughs> I, I live for this holiday. It's so awesome. And today, this is great because it's sort of a double whammy. Yes. It's perfect for brunch, and Mother's Day is just around the yes. corner. We always love, you know, we're all at home, hopefully, with our mothers. Right. And some of us are. And uh, it's also Cinco de Mayo, close to it. And it's also my sister's birthday. So it's a perfect time to make this dish. <laughs> what is it? It is our chilequiles. chilequiles. Yay. Chilequiles. <laughs> it's so awesome. So this is a dish that's basically like a tortilla casserole. And it is hugely, hugely popular so in that good. beautiful country of Mexico down uh, below us. And um, it's just... I've been reading all about it for years, and it's so. I've always wanted to dine, and they, they say like hotels, it's the most popular brunch item, and it's now finding its way on many, many menus in North America. And uh, so we are going to bring you this recipe yeah. that is to die for. It's so good. Okay, so look at these. These look at are these wonderful our chips, homemade chips. Now you can go with store bought, of course, no totally. problem. But these are so easy. I'm telling you, it's really, really easy. Okay, so let's talk. I really want to eat. I know one, the, the only They're issue so is nice keeping him crunchy. from eating. Them. I know. So we started off with 15 corn tortillas, yellow corn tortillas. Yellow is what we prefer for yeah. these. Uh, 15 may seem like a lot, but it's 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 not. Right. So um, then I just take a sharp knife and I cut them in half and then quarter them. And that makes these beautifully sized uh, tortillas. Yes. Then if you have a deep fryer, great, that thing that he thinks is gigantic and so like <laughs> massive and scary. Industrial. Industrial size. <laughs> um, great. So set your oil to 365 degrees Fahrenheit. You can also do it in like... Like you can just put some oil in here. These are so easy to fry up. Right. Uh, just be careful. You know, try to get your temperature to between 350 to 365. Right. You don't um, want to burn these because yeah, because you also you have to bake them too, which we'll show you. But yeah, you yeah. want these to be nice and just done. Yeah, perfectly. yeah. The, the temptation is to leave them in a little too long because they do turn this really golden. Well, let's tell. So what yeah. we did is we after we cut them, we then we just you know in batches drop them into the hot oil. 365. Um, if you have a basket that helps you lift it up when it's done, great. Or you can use a spatula, uh, you know, there's many ways to do this. And then, um, or, you know, if you're doing it in here, a pair of tongs, pull it out. Right. And then you dump them onto uh, just some paper towels. Um, and what I like to do is hit it with just a little bit of salt while there's still some of that oil on there because it helps mm. that salt adhere to the chip. Yes. Oh, so, and now I we really have a big, a big old bowl of salsa right now. It's so good with our, <laughs> our homemade restaurant quality salsa or our guacamole. Oh, my it. God. This is one of my favorite. This is great. Oh, I love this. I love Mexican food so much. Yes. Okay. So now we've talked about the chips. So now let's talk about this verde this sauce, verde sauce, which is the, the basis verde. of this wonderful dish. It's oh. a it's a tomatilla, incredible. So, so let's just tell you, then the smell is ridiculous. So what we did is we <coughs> got. Me, I've got a, a, a tomatilla in my throat. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay. I don't even know Sorry. how to respond to that. So what we're going to do is we are going to tell you what a tomatilla is. If you haven't seen them, they're readily available now in most supermarkets in the produce section. Um, they're just they're they're like in the tomato family. Um, Very but tart. They're tart, and they have this funny kind of like uh, skin, loose skin fitting around them. It's like so their just, natural wrap. Yeah, it's just like they're like little <laughs> they're, they're shawls, shall we say? And so you just remove that exterior wrapper, and you may f feel like the the interior skin has a little, little bit of a sticky, sticky feel to it. it. Yeah. Um, but that's that's normal. You sometimes there's the, a little stem at the top, so just use your fingers just to kind of pull that stem away. And uh, so you're going to do that to. 20 tomatillas and uh, then and they they range in size but from small to large you know they're, they're all pretty close to the same size and then we're going to add a little bit of heat to mm. this we're going to do two serrano peppers so you could also do jalapenos um, those are going to both of those are going to pack some heat right um, I love the serrano I do it too so good. I do too so and we, it always hits at the very end of it yeah it's there's, so two is going to give you just a little bit of heat three is going to give you Mm, some heat. Four is going to make it spicy. Yeah. One is going to make it pretty mild. And then if you just hate any kind of heat, then don't use the serranos. Right, right. But it's really good. Okay, so now we make them really delicious and we roast them. We've put them on our baking sheet. And I've turned my broiler on high. And you're just going to put them under the broiler and let them broil for about four to five minutes. Now, I like to make sure there's about four inches between the, the peppers and the broiler. broiler okay. And you just want to keep an eye on this because, you know, broilers vary from oven to oven and they can burn and you don't want that. But you right. do, so after about four or five minutes, take them out. You're going to see they've got 
and look kind of nice and charred and so that's what makes them smoky and delicious. Uh, turn them over with a pair of tongs and then put them back in the broiler and finish roasting them off for say another five minutes. Yes. Okay, so now we're almost ready to- and It smells great. It roasted, smells so great. Roasted tom tomatillas or tomatoes. And, and the peppers. And all of that stuff is just I know, good. it's just the best. And yeah. so, okay, so now we've let it cool for just a couple minutes and we've got out our trusty blender. This dish, I am gonna say you, you're gonna be utilizing different sorts of things in your kitchen, but it's all <laughs> heat adaptable. You could yeah. use a food processor if you don't have a blender, but who wouldn't have a blender if you have a food processor? <laughs> but anyway, so I digress. So then all of those peppers go into your blender and you just do a quick puree. A tomatilla is not a pepper, is it? Yeah, well, it's a vegetable. Okay. Or maybe a probably idea. a fruit. Yeah. All right. You yes. asked me these questions. I'm sorry. It's probably a fruit because I believe it is in the tomato family, which is a fruit. Is a tomato a fruit? It's a fruit. All right. So anyway. You're going to um, get written about this if you don't know what you're talking about. I know what I'm talking about. So um, anyway, so then we puree that and then um, that's good. So now we're yeah, just going to so it's pureed it. and it's just incredible. Incredibly. So I've got it over here. So now it smells delicious. It really does, and we're just we're going to amp up the the smell even better. So now what I've got going on over here, I've had it off the heat, so I need to crank back this up. But heat it up. Um, you're just going to want to get one cup of onion or like a whole onion and chop it, and then uh, toss that into a large skillet like this. Uh, over medium high heat with a couple tablespoons of olive oil. Let that cook till it becomes really soft and translucent. And then I'm going to throw in some, some garlic. garlic. Okay, so now that's fine. My heat is, I let it kind of cool off a little bit. That's okay. All so right. now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna add this incredible uh, tom uh, tomatilla sauce, this <laughs> verde yes. sauce. And right. I'm going to crank up the heat, and what we're going to do is we're going to let this come to a boil, yes. and then we'll go from there. Right, exactly. And while that's boiling, oh. I'm going to start to prepare my pan for oh. picking. Yeah, you okay. forgot about me over No, here. I thought we well, jumping well, right into that. Oh, we okay. are? Let's, well, you've been talking so much, I feel I like know. I have to get an edge in, ed, a word in edgewise. <laughs> okay, well, So yeah. we're going to stack these in here, and then when we come back, you'll see what we do with the sauce. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So well, while we're talking about that, okay. <laughs> well, <laughs> this is a a tin, cast you iron always get skillet. just a part of the information. <laughs> this is obviously a cast iron skillet, but it's, it's a 10 inch one, it's not the giant one. Um, you can make this in a nine by 13 dish, uh, and you're just gonna need to use 18 tortillas instead of 15. Oh, okay. And then what you want, what you do is just I after you layer it, layer it in there, give it kind of a nice press. You, you want it to be it. along yeah. the bottom of That's it. That's right, it's yes. kind of like a tortilla crust. <laughs> Right. Or a tortilla casserole. It's really <laughs> okay. Look, we're already boiling over here, so this is good. Yeah, we're boiling. We're boiling. We are cooking with gas. Okay, so now what we're going well, to do? You, I, sw I swear you had like two cups of coffee. Already. I'm just excited. <laughs> I, I get very excited for this dish. So now what we're going to do? This is uh, added. Got a nice strong simmer. We're going to add two cups of good old chicken stock, and. Um, mm. You don't have, if you want to keep this completely vegetarian, you can by all means do vegetable stock. Oh, there's Ed. Hi, Ed. So, um, <laughs> or you could even use water, but I mean, I would definitely go with a broth or a stock here. Okay, so yeah. now we're going to let this come to a boil, and then we're, we're almost add some ready. Cream. Add some cream, and then we're going to build the castle. Yeah, yes! Oh, okay. okay. That oh, smells good. Smells so good. So I let this, I let this come to a boil, and then let it uh, have a pretty strong simmer um, for about five minutes, and you'll see it just, it kind of thickens up, and it's perfect. I love it so much. All right, I'm gonna take it off the heat, and um, it's really, really about ready, but we're gonna, of course, add a little more. <laughs> so it needs a little salt. So this is one thing I usually do about a teaspoon of salt. It really kind of depends on your chips. Some, if you're using store-bought chips, Sometimes those store bought chips are really salty, salty and so you right. may want to pull back on your salt here. Um, but like with what we did, I think a teaspoon is, is good. Perfection. Okay, thanks, Sean. Now we're going to add some cream. This is Mexican crema. I don't think I or would Crema have... Mexicana. Yeah, and uh, basically it's like a creme fraiche. Um, oh, it's yeah? Just, it's like a heavy cream that's just got, it's got a little more of a tang to it. Um, we live here in Texas, so it's very so, easy to find. It's but we, when we lived in New Jersey, I could find it at the supermarket. So, um, but if you can't find it, 
Creme fraiche is pretty easily found. Um, and if you can't find that, then just go with heavy cream, okay? And now I'm going to stir that up. Look at that, that is beautiful. I cannot. Oh, yes you can. <laughs> Wait, this, this is just, I love this, this dish so I do too, much. it's become our favorite. And now uh, this is. It's perfect for brunch. It really is, this is a quarter mm. cup of freshly chopped cilantro. In a pinch you could go with, um, Dried, but try to do fresh if you awesome. possibly can. Cool. And that is really good. Okay, so now while you're okay. Now what you, we're gonna do is we're gonna put this sauce, this wonderful fresh verde sauce on here. A little salsa. <laughs> salsa. Oh, salsa. he's gonna do the pouring. Okay. Let's just see. So the idea is to coat everything. Yeah, you really want the chips to coat. And you may be thinking, well, doesn't that gonna make them really soft and gushy? It's this amazing combination. Oh, I was blocking the view, everybody. So. Oh, the, this amazing combination of, as it bakes, it retains some of its crunch and some of it gets soft and it's I'm really gonna good. Move this around a little bit so move everybody it. gets a yeah, little yeah. bit of the sauce. And again, it's okay if the, the chips break a little bit. Yes, That's no problem. Totally, totally. Okay, so while he's doing that over there, now the other, this is brunch. Um, so what's fabulous, although this is so good, we have a, any time of the day. But we love to, when it's baking, we love to uh, cook up, fry up a couple of eggs. So I'm gonna show you <laughs> yes. while we're doing that. So I've got just a tablespoon, of, but we're using our Sardell uh, non-stick skillet. It, we got a link to it in the, in the blog oh, post. Oh, I love it's their- It's just great. I love their cookware. It's really, really wonderful. Okay, Chris, I am, uh, you know what? I'm gonna go for, I'm gonna take it all in here. I'm gonna put it all in there. There we go. Okay. No, that's good. That's what we let get on this. Seat down yeah. in between everything. It's amazing. Yeah, Wonderful. just keep, keep stirring it up. Yeah. Okay, so while he's doing that, so what I do, you don't wanna overdo it with the butter, and you gotta make sure you keep your heat on just a nice medium heat because what'll happen is the butter will start to brown and it then browns the edges of the egg. So we're doing these fried eggs sunny side up and I use just a little bowl to help me guide it into the um, skillet. And that's really all there is to it. Fabulous. And then you hit it with a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and uh, we like them, our yolks nice and runny. Um, so how <laughs> are we doing over there? I'm good. So now I'm gonna put a layer of our favorite mixed cheese combination. <laughs> well, you can use any kind of good melting cheese. If you've got access to like a Chihuahua Mexican melting cheese, just make sure it's a good melty cheese. Um, <laughs> Monterey Jack is very great to use. We're in our, you know, pandemic situation. So, so use whatever cheese you got. Handed. Use what you can get. We, I got a mix of cheddar and Monterey Jack. Do I want to use all that or is that good? Ah, uh, well, you know, I can't believe you're actually asking that question. <laughs> I mean, well, I need a little bit. For okay, myself. that's good. All right, my my um, mm. all right, my egg is doing really good. Okay, we've got our yep. oven preheated to 400 degrees Fahrenheit, and we're going to just let this cook until the cheese becomes really melty and, and the edges. Sauce just did you gets you so talked thin. about how you left these sort yeah, of the, just a little bit so you could see leave the some of the edges you know exposed so they're really nice and crunchy, mm -hmm. and that only takes about 15 maybe 20 minutes. Okay, mm. and then it's time to eat. Yay! Okay! Oh my gosh, it's ready! Oh, <laughs> uh, oh, that looks gorgeous! <gasps> celebration of sure people deliciousness. Look, Look at that. that! That is bubbling beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> That's spectacular. But you know us, we're not done. Okay. So no. Hello. Hello. All right. Hello. So, right here, so I slipped that beautiful egg that I did. We can just. Put right on oh, there. perfect. Okay, and then <laughs> do the same for this one. I'm just going to slip it right on there if you can do it so everyone can see it. Oh, Isn't that skillet amazing? <laughs> okay. I'm so hungry right now. <laughs> I know. Wait, we're not done, folks. No, I know we're not. We're going to throw a couple of avocado slices from our lovely cousin Robin, who, who's in California. She sent these to us. <laughs> Love it. Oh, right. I was going to say, so my cousin Robin and her husband Don have this incredible uh, farm, and she just sent us these beautiful avocados. And I love you guys. So, anyway, these, but this is another one of those dishes that's all about the accoutrement. So, anyway, but we're not done. Yo, we're Yes. One so more little fun little thing to do. So, this is another, this is just a little trick. You don't have to do this. But that a Mexican crema is so good. And just do a little squirt across here like that. Yay. Beautiful. And then, last but not least, another, you know, save a little bit of your cilantro. 
and just sprinkle that onto the side. And that, folks, <laughs> is a nice. That's dish. so beautiful. I love that. Thank you. <laughs> oh, and did you do a little squirt of the line? Oh, we'll do a little squirt of the line. Oh, here. Actually, I just put them right there. Be let's careful. Just, that's piping hot. Yeah, let's just kind of do it here. Here we go. Okay, that's great. All right, now the trick is to get this. Now, obviously, you know, we always cook for. I cook for the loon and myself, which I guess is sort of like cooking for four people, but I'm <laughs> so rude. <laughs> I know, I'm kidding. But, uh, but if you're, you know, you put as many eggs on here as you want to serve people. Um, and you can go with a bigger dish. There you go. Bring it on over here. Oops, I got a little. That's okay. It's a little messy. Um, and I'm rushing. Here. Just slow down. Okay. Slow down. You're going to get a traffic ticket. <laughs> Clean that up a little. Yeah, I'm going to. Before everybody looks. Don't look yet, people. I don't know what you can do. We're rushing, but what you can do is you can then, I mean, you've really got to adorn these because this, these avocados are so fresh. Um, but the avocado, there's, a, like I said, just a hair of heat in the in the sauce, and it's so delicious. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I didn't do that very No, well. that's okay. I, I take a prettier picture than what you just put, <laughs> did on my plate. Anyway, look at that! Mmm! I'm going to just... Okay, yeah, you go for it. I'm going to... I'm going to get ready to eat this. Yeah. I think I'm going to wait because I'm going to crack the egg. Well, actually, I'm not going to wait for you because you look like you're making a mess. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to use a big spoon, and he said, no, use a spatula. <laughs> There's a big spoon right there. I know. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Here we go, people. Let's crack my egg. Oh. <sighs> yeah. <clears throat> okay, I've got a frog in my throat again. No. It's a Mexican jumping frog. <laughs> <laughs> All right, come on. The people want to see you. Chris. People want to see me eat. Okay. Oh, people. Oh. It's soft and gooey and delicious. Mmm. Mmm. I just... I know. <laughs> it's everything it should be in the... That course. salsa verde. So <sighs> fresh. It's like, just like a wonderful... Put your arms around you and say, like Mother Hola. Nature's going, Hola. I've got you. I've got you. Hola. Hola. <laughs> oh wow, that is. <gasps> Isn't it? It's such a. Yeah. It's such an interesting. It's great. I love it. When, when, I, when I first so, told him about this, he was like, "It's gonna make the chips crunk good." But soft. it's, it's kind of like it's making the chips kind of like the pasta it, of your casserole or the what is it called? The or like the stuffing or whatever. It, yeah. it, it just it transforms it really into a casserole, and uh, it's incredible. It's all about that verde sauce. Yeah, oh, I know, I know. wow. And that egg. I like the egg. It's good. And, and the avocado. Oh, and the chips are great. This is 100% Lord approved. Yay! Oh, I'm so happy. Oh, my gosh. Now that means I can dig in. Yeah, it's not very pretty. Pretty. Well, I was taking a couple of bites out of it. Hurrying and didn't do very good. It's all right. It all goes to the same It place. is one of those things that it's. You know, it's not like a lasagna that just can cut just perfectly. It's a oh, oh, just taste, taste it, Chris. Just stop talking and taste it. More to live by. Mm. That is amazing. Mm. Every time we make it, I, I'm just like, I can't believe it. And the fresh right. avocado. Thank you, Robin, for I the know. fresh avocados. Oh my gosh. Mm. So mm. She, now you can get this recipe and many more on howtofeedaloom.com. So it's a funny story of the times that we live in. So she's a great cook, and, and um, she's got a, a cooking competition with her brother who lives in Texas. But she didn't have any yeast, and I didn't have any avocados, so we shipped them to each other. <laughs> I shipped, so I hope you got the yeast, Robin. All right, go to our social media, like it, share yes. do all that fabulous stuff. Make this for Mother's Day, yes. make it for Cinco de Mayo. Mm -hmm. Oh, everybody stay safe, please. And, please. Um, yeah. And We're going to get through this together. Love you. And cook. And Just cook. say adios. <laughs> adios. Everybody. Hey, <laughs> now if you like what you saw, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Well, that's right, and to get more amazing recipes like yeah. this, just click right here. Click, subscribe, <laughs> click, click it all. Subscribe. Just click and subscribe. <laughs>